Hey, Kaizen, back here with another video. So today I wanna to talk about why dating is the same thing as a sales funnel. And it's pretty simple when you break it down. Um, it's kind of different for some people who are in extreme situations, but for most people, the vast majority of people, at least 90% plus, maybe 95% plus, it's basically a sales funnel because first of all, there's that first part where you're getting their number, right? Um, I'm going to talk about why this is all like in-person stuff. Online dating is dead. I'm going to talk about that in another video. In my opinion, online dating is dead unless you meet some specific criteria. But for the average guy, online dating is dead, in my opinion. Um, but with regards to in-person approaches, cold approaches and warm approaches, I'll, this is more to do with cold approaches. Sorry for all the context. I'm going to get into it in a second here. Just laying down the foundation here. Warm approach is a little bit different in my understanding because there's a higher likelihood of that um, they say yes, but it's still a sales funnel too in that situation too when I think about it. So there's the first barrier of whether they're willing to give you their number or not. And if they are, that means that they're interested in you enough to give you their number, but it still doesn't mean that they're interested enough to do to like actually hang out and stuff like that so that's the first sales funnel and that filters out a lot of people already right like for example although i just approached a woman just now actually and she told me she has a boyfriend right so for all of those people already all those women who have boyfriends and you approach them and they're loyal they're gonna say i have a boyfriend and um they're gonna reject your approach so that's is already a narrowing of the people that you approach. It goes from the people you approach, say it's this big, to the people who give you their number, like something like that, you know, and it just narrows down each level. So then the next level after that is like, are they gonna like spend time with you? Like instead of like flaking on you or whatever, if they're just trying to use you for attention and just want you to text back and forth and waste your time. So that's the next level, whether they actually meet up with you. And then after that, it's like whether they're going to get more intimate with you. That's an even smaller number, right? Because not everybody who is willing to meet up with you is going to actually want to get intimate with you. And then at the final level, it's those who are going to do sexual uh, activities with you. And that's like the end of the sales funnel. Like, there you go. That, those are the winners. Out of all the options that you approached, it gets narrowed down more and more and more and more until you get to just the ones who you want and the ones who you connect with really because most of the people are filtered out for a reason it's because you couldn't connect with them anyways right whether it is because they're in a relationship or you're just not her type and maybe she lies to you about why she rejects you but it doesn't even matter because you weren't meant to be with her in the first place right she was not going to treat you right and it wouldn't have been a good uh relationship it would not have been good so it's she actually did you a favor by rejecting you in that situation right and the only thing to do is not to feel sorry for yourself, feel victim mentality like, oh man, she approached me, damn it, damn it, damn it, I suck, blah, 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 blah. It's to just keep approaching more until you solve the problem, right? Like anybody, pretty much anybody can get a girlfriend in a single day, I think, if they approach enough women. Because it's different from the past because now, thanks to technology, we have the ability to travel like never before, like we have cars and stuff. And also, people are condensed into such a tight space. It's never been like that before either. Back in the days, people were much more spread out. Things were a lot more rural. But now it's way easier to approach people than it's ever been before. So if you enjoy the video, guys, please leave a like and subscribe. And that's about it for this video. Dating is basically a sales funnel, in my opinion. And you just got to keep playing the numbers right like it's exactly the same in sales even if somebody sucks at sales and if they call enough people then they'll have they'll still get sales anyways that's just how it is if they just keep going keep going like they don't let the rejections get to them because their mindset is too strong you got to have a strong mindset for these types of things so that's about it and then the other thing i would say is you can improve the width of the funnels and each part of the sales funnel because if you improve your qualities that make you attractive, like your physical attractiveness, your money, your status, these sorts of things that can increase the odds. Oh yeah, also your social skills, charisma, that can increase the odds that somebody says yes. So that's it guys, leave a like, subscribe, bye-bye, bye-bye.